night before I got in Atlantic City for about three seconds I said to myself I wonder if Reverend Joe is going to be at the program for a moment I forgot he wasn't here no more Reverend Joe wrote a song and when I stand here tonight, I can't help but think about Reverend Bobby Joe Hunter. Now, Reverend Bobby Joe ain't here, but Reverend Eddie Hunter is. Real. Well, if you don't mind, I want you to help me tell. How good God is. How many here know God is a real good God? Don't fool me. How many know God is a real good God? When I sing this song, if you would be a witness, help me tell the world tonight. Mm -hmm. Worthy is He. Help me sing. Help me sing. Is He? One another one worthy is the name. Y'all help me sing it at Lake City, you know it. All over this world, oh, worthy is he. Shut I know, I know, I know, worthy I know. Is he. One another one. Say one verse for Reverend Bobby Joe and Rev. We're gonna do it together. Listen. I will. I'll bless the Lord at all. At all times. I need about 35 of y'all to help me. His grace. Come on, help me. Shall continually.
run that revival. I got finished preaching. Christian, sit down in the seat. Scholar, pastor got the mic. Gave it back to me. And said, give me just a, a little bit more. A little bit more. I got the mic back and I stood up. And I started singing. And out of nowhere, for a few seconds, I blanked out. When I came to St. Thelma, the mic was on the ground. And I was singing in my hand. I looked down, picked up the mic. I started singing again. A few seconds later, happened again. Couldn't hold the mic. Dropped out my hand. And I was singing, but I didn't even know what I was saying myself. I reached down to try to pick up the mic for about 10 seconds. And I just couldn't pick it up. I just couldn't. I, I just couldn't. I looked at the pastor. He said, you all right? I said, yeah. I walked over, hand in the mic, sat down. Hands started tingling. Fingers got numb. Hands start hurting. The first thing the devil said to me, you having a stroke? And how many know when you're at your lowest? Why did the enemy sneak in? I start having all kinds of thoughts like, God, I'm way in Baltimore by myself. But something in the back of my head said, I don't believe it brought me this far to leave me now. Church was over, real. I, I, I got the pastor by the hand. He said, he said, let's fellowship here. I said, man, show me where the office is. A lady walked up to me and said, Rap, I really enjoyed you. What city are you from in Alabama? Skyler. I knew what city I was from. But I couldn't articulate it. And all the way back to the hotel, I just said, Lord, have mercy on me. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. How many know if you pray and pray right? Won't pray change things. Won't pray change things. Watch it, wait, wait a minute, Rev. I got to the hotel, went to bed. Got up the next morning, got on the plane by myself. Flew all the way back home. Ain't tell my hands still numb. Got back to Atlanta, got in my car. My balance was off. Leaving the airport, ran over the curb. And all the way home, I just started thinking about that song. All night, all day, we got an angel. <laughs> he got an angel. How many know the only thing you hear? Cause he got an angels wrapped all around. You hear what happened? I got home and I told honey and my mother about it. Said you need to go to the mercy room. I said just give me, give it till Sunday morning. Let me, let me go to church. Cause something about when you got in the presence of God, that no matter what was wrong before you got there. When you get in the presence of the divine kind, he can change things. Got through service Monday morning, me and honey, mother, and Mary went to the doctor, ran an MRI. And, and, and Dr. Fi called back and said, said, what happened was you threw a, a blood clot and, and, and caused you to have a, a light stroke. And you know what? went into a, a praying spit and one would wonder why you praising God and the doctor said you had a light stroke I was praising because I looked down at my left hand and I was still able to lift it and I know some folks that's got stroke and they died a long time ago and is there anybody in this room that can say I don't have to get through the praising I can praise it I'm still in Help me justify 
right now, do me a favor, just look at and think about how God brought you through. And think about all those times when you felt like you couldn't make it. And I need somebody in here to lift your voice and open your mouth. And begin to give God your best praise. And begin to give God your greatest praise. And look back where he brought you from. And every time you saw he turned it around. Yeah, I need somebody to lift your voice and say thank you to And somebody here tonight, I, I just need to tell you before we leave, ain't no need of worrying what the night is going to bring. How many got faith tonight, buddy? It'll be all over in the morning. Can I get 75 safe folks in this room? They got faith to It'll be all over. It'll be all over. It'll be all over. It'll be all over.